I haven't found it enjoyable to make clothes or want to make clothes lately. So things are going to slightly change, um, which I'll come to in a moment. But I wanted to just say that anyone who has seen one of my recent videos, I made a lace dress for my brother-in-law's wedding, which fitted really well, I was really pleased with. It cost me less than if I bought a dress from the shops and I knew that no one else was going to turn up at the special occasion wearing the same outfit. So that was fine. I found that enjoyable. I found there was great satisfaction from wearing that. But the jacket that I made to wear with it, the lapels in one of my videos, I show you that the lapels were not sitting flat. So I was going to take it to the dry cleaners, which I did twice because they messed it up the first time. So I went back and see if they'd rectified it the second time, but they'd done, all they'd done was sewn a crease down the outer side of the sleeve. I didn't have time to try and fix it. Um, so I wasn't able to wear or take the jacket with me. I still have that. I could try and press the iron on, but I think that it would just ruin the fabric. And that was one of the one of the tipping points for me just going, right, that's it, I'm gonna stop for a bit. Because I spent all that time making, getting the fit right, got the fit right, and then it was out of my control that it was messed up and then I couldn't wear it. I felt really disappointed. Another example is the t-shirt I'm wearing, which is a basic v-neck t-shirt, but it ripples because the um, neckband is not drafted big enough for the v-neck. And although I'd unpicked it and then put it in again and cut a longer one, it's, it's just rippling. I don't like it. I'm wearing it because I spent the money on it and I made it, but in future I've decided I'm just going to buy some t-shirts and not feel that pressure. I have been sewing though. I haven't completely put my dust cover over my sewing machine and walked away. I have been making things. I've made two costumes, well, nearly finished for my husband. One is, they both need tweaking and they haven't gone according to plan. I've realized I quite like project sewing. So making a dress for the wedding, making a costume for my husband, although that's quite torturous to make, the once it's made is quite satisfactory. And I have a project which I am midway through filming, so I haven't given up. So this is the mask, you'll have to excuse the mask. But I bought a chair and I thought I was going to um, just put a new cover on. I thought I was just gonna make a new cover. It was a bigger project than what I thought. I have been saying some bits. That will be coming as a separate video very soon because this is just annoying me with the mess and I need to get it sorted out. I also spent a lot of time watching the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. I know, I know, <laughs> I shouldn't. A lot of people hate that. It's been very saturated in the media, but I was glued. I used to be a real fan of Ally McBeal when it was on telly, but was it the 90s, early 2000s, something like that? I used to watch all of them and I did find it was quite entertaining. It was a bit of escapism. I know it's real people's lives, but you know, come on, these are celebrities here. So it's always that bit of intrigue. Um, and yeah, I spent a lot of time really just vegging out and watching the trial and I didn't really feel like doing anything else. Now, I do have some fabrics in my stash because I went through and I de-stashed some of my fabrics that I had because they weren't in my colour palette, which I knew that I wasn't gonna wear or use and it was just taking up space. And a year ago, I decided that enough was enough. I was going to start decluttering throughout the house, which I is an ongoing project but I, have, I am trying to maintain quite a minimal amount of things and fabric is included in that. I know there are a lot of people in the sewing community who love to spend fabric, look at fabrics, buy fabrics, buy lots of patterns, make lots of things and then show them all. I've been caught up in that cycle myself, but that isn't where I wanna be and that's not within my budget. Our household income has dropped this year, the price of everything has gone absolutely up and through the roof. So I am concentrating more on a more minimalist approach to different things and more of a frugal sort of um, lifestyle. Not a miserable lifestyle, but working on a tight budget where you can still have hobbies and get enjoyment from them. And for me, that is going to be project sewing. So I may be making things for my home because I spend a lot of time at home. When I'm not at work, I'm in the house. So I wanna make nice things because that is one way I can save money. Yes, it is spending money, but I can sometimes make things. When it comes to like household accessories, 
you generally if you have a sewing machine you can make them cheaper than what they sell in the shops that's not always the case with clothing but certainly when it comes to home furnishings and decor and bits and pieces so that can be a one way of um getting things a lot cheaper to have a nice home so i haven't quit sewing i bought you know an expensive sewing machine last year circumstances were different i was we were able to buy that outright and so I have that already so I have that resource and so I do want to use it but I don't want to feel like I have oh it's summer I have to make a summer dress oh it's coming out to winter I have to do a capsule wardrobe oh I should really buy subscription boxes or order from a certain shop because they have a sale on I have unsubscribed from a, a lot I mean a lot of fabric shops pattern companies and then just general emails as well my inbox was getting flooded all the time with offers and sales and it bombarded me so much it, you may be the same when it comes towards near like black friday or something then there's just people like you know bye 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 well i know that you know especially for small independent companies they rely on people to keep those businesses afloat and if you are able to do that and you get enjoyment from that then you know i'm not saying oh you need to stop and i'm not judging you that's you know that's fine you can do that i am not in that position to do that i've never liked shopping i've never enjoyed shopping um and i don't really like spending money so this channel is gonna change slightly. There still will be sewing. It's gonna be more project sewing, like I said. It might be some costume sewing. It might be upholstery um, furnishings. It might be ways to save money. It might be um, how you can sew and keep a minimal stash, how to get things organized, how to declutter, all those kinds of things. You may find the content changes slightly, but I need to move it forward and it wasn't making me happy on the content that I was making. So don't feel bad if you buy a lot of your clothes and you don't have a completely 100% me made wardrobe. That is something I'm never gonna achieve and never want to achieve either. There's no shame in purchasing clothes. I'll actually just show you, you would have got a sneak peek, but this is my summer uniform. This is what I'm wearing today, which is a t-shirt and ready to wear um, Bermuda length shorts, so denim shorts. They have stretch to them and they are rolled up just above the knee. I probably do need to wear a belt with them. But this is my like uniform staple that I have worn for years over the summers, various shorts, but this kind of style. I don't like really short shorts. They ride up in the crotch when you're walking, unless you have that thigh gap, which I currently don't. Um, and a t-shirt over here, it's not massively boiling hot this week. So a t-shirt with a slight sleeve, it's fine. So why would I be trying to make all the latest summer dresses? I do have some summer dresses, but yeah, I wanna keep a minimum wardrobe, but things that I do like to wear and more cohesive. And I think that is one way that I can still, still sew for pleasure, not sew because I feel guilt for buying something. So. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you are the same or whether you want to have, if you aim for a 100% me made wardrobe or not. Um, it'd be interesting to know what everyone sees. But I'm not going away. I will be again on this channel shortly once I finish my next project.